to create a standard normal distribution in excel i need the z value which is the x axis value and the probability associated with that uh, z z value or z score uh, so in normal distribution standard normal especially it looks something like this so that's the normal distribution and then you have one two three that's the z values and minus one minus two minus three and so on so if i have to create a normal distribution in excel uh, i need to do is uh, calculate the probability of each of these bars so this way is my z score or z value and my y axis is the uh, probability or the <coughs> frequency sometimes it's called the frequency sorry about this messy writing now let's create some values so what I'm gonna do is I'll start from negative 1 to all the way negative 4 to all the way to negative uh, positive 4 so we can uh, Z distribution or standard normal distribution is a symmetric uh, distribution so let's calculate now probability there is a function called norms dist norms this test for the standard normal distribution so norms dist and then select that value um, however this norm dist will calculate cumulative probability so that's not really the frequency that i'm looking for to create a normal distribution um, cumulative probability meaning that when i type say norms is uh, zero is going to calculate everything before that zero line so as you see area under the curve is one and before the zero line is 0 0.5 so to get the frequency probability or uh, the cell probability these bars all i have to do is the first cell just type that however for the second cell this is going to be minus that so if I copy all the way down so what it is doing basically when I'm typing that so it's gonna calculate the probability up to 0.5 and then it subtract all the probability before 0.46 so this cell is giving me the frequency of the distribution or probability distribution now I can select these two and uh, plot it XY scattered something like that so this will uh, give me my distribution I want the axis level so I can tell that's the uh, probability and then x-axis is the standard normal distribution therefore it's the z-score and then title I can say standard uh, probability normal distribution um, if you if you check any statistics book uh, um, you will find these probabilities however because when you we have Excel we really don't need that table in the back of the book now if we would like to see uh, for example the if we would like to go back to the z-score again say we have the probability given now uh, we want to find out the z value something called uh, norms inverse so it's gonna be norm inv that will give me so if i have now i have the probability now i want to go back to that value the z value then i can just type that and it will give me all the um, all the z scores so if if a question asks that five find the probability um, before some value then you use norms uh, dist and then if the probability is given we are interested to find the z-score then type uh, norms inverse so just the other way 
of calculating the probability. So that's it about the standard normal uh, distribution in Excel.